think I'll have it running in another week or so. Working in silhouette. Now I need a piece of steel to uh, make the banjo bolt. And I went and bought this uh, six foot long piece of, well, I guess that's an inch and an eighth, uh, hot rolled steel. And it uh, cost me a pretty penny, but now I have stock. Now I gotta cut it, put it in the lathe, and turn it down. Okay, to cut it, I stick it in my uh, Harbor Freight uh, cutoff saw. It's uh, been running about uh, two minutes. See if I can catch it. So automatically goes off when the uh, it hits a switch. Sometimes it doesn't go down far enough, and that's the. Uh, and there's the cut. Fairly square. Okay, I stick the chuck key in the chuck. Open it up. You see the jaws opening until this fits in. And I'll stick it in about that far. That'll give me room to, to work off the bar. So I'll do all the work on the piece while I'm still holding it. Uh, that way everything will be true. Drill it out. Uh, cut the face. We take a skim cut on the outside and then part it. Since it's got a hole in it, it should part fairly true. And then I'll be pretty much a finished piece dropping off. Give it a good tighten. Always remove your chuck key. I keep mine up here out of the way. Well, I left the center drill in from the last uh, work I did. So, see, I have to move the carriage forward to give me clearance for the, uh, the center to so it doesn't hit the carriage. The only reason I'm moving the carriage. Get that close. All right. Give it a good lock. 430 RPMs. Well, I think I can go faster than that. Bump it up to 725. Wow, much better. And that's what a uh, center drill looks like. It's got a little tip on it here. Makes it easy to go in and since it's thick it doesn't wobble. It stays on center. And then this is a uh, 60 degree included angle here. Uh, they call them center drills because if you're going to put a center in the lathe, the uh, center is also 60 degrees. And I could put the center in there and then pull this piece out and it wouldn't wobble. I showed you working on the center when I worked on the bolt. What I'm using it here for is, uh, since it's got that taper on it uh, and that hole is centered uh, in rotation, when I drill uh, it will pick up the center. It won't be absolutely true because it's a drill, but it will pick up that and, and be fairly true. So I can pretty much drill close to being one size and then clean up the hole uh, with a uh, cutting tool. Well, I'm putting this tool in the lathe and I'm going to cut this way with it and face. That's hand ground. Been using it for uh, months and months. Uh, if you're careful, you never dull them. <laughs> it lasts forever. You can always just touch them up on the grinder to get them sharp again. This one doesn't need it. Okay, the tool's in and uh, I've got it up against the piece to show you. I've got it turned a little bit this way in the tool holder. Say I kicked it over a little bit and that's to get clearance on the tool 
See right there, if it was flat, you wouldn't get clearance and it wouldn't, wouldn't cut right. Now this isn't at 90 degrees because it's kind of a little pointy, so I can use the same tool in the same setting to face it across here and also take a cut down here and clean up the, uh, the side. Um, if you cut the tool just right, you can use it for both is what I'm saying, and, and I do. So here I'm facing. Using a machine feed. And without changing the tool, I have to change feed direction. Without changing the tool, I'm taking both cuts because I set it up and, and cut it so it would do that. Now you see I already took a cut on there because I messed up the video, but I'm doing it again to show you. There we go, not bad. See the relief on the tool when you're... Uh, when you're turning as opposed to facing. See right there, you just got enough relief that it doesn't drag. So it doesn't drag. See that little bit of relief in there? You gotta have relief on the tool or it'll drag. Now I've got a drill in the uh, chuck here. I'm gonna use the tailstock to, uh, to feed it in. See it move? And uh, this will show you why you want to center drill it. how the, uh, the center drill actually guides the uh, drill in. See the center drilled hole? And it guides it right into the center. Now it'll go easy at first because it's uh, got that little teeny hole that the center drill put in there. So you're only cutting on the outside of the drill, but then it hardens up as you get in. It's harder to turn. There it is. It's at the bottom of the hole. And the chips will change too. I slowed down to uh, 3, what, 320? I think I can come up in speed. Let's increase the speed. Okay, I use these levers to uh, change the gears to control the speed on the lathe. I got it at, uh, what is that, 430 right now? 430 RPMs? And uh, I don't think we'll get any blue chips. Alright, that's much better. Well, I'm cutting about, uh, oh, 20, 30 thousandths undersize. And I'll bore it out. Don't have to bore it out. Probably could have just drilled it, but I'm going to have to put a tool in any, any way to hollow it out, so why not? <laughs> 